Hi, everybody. All right, you join me today. We're doing a little bit of upgrading. So uh, after the last long flight, I was testing my fuel pumps one day. We're going to go do some flying, and uh, the number two pump wasn't making full pressure. And I thought, well, that's, that's, that's weird. Uh, these pumps are supposed to be able to do 50 pounds on their own without restriction. Well, we, we have ours restricted to 35 pounds, so they should at least make 35 pounds, right? So took the whole pump housing off. Uh, which was a gigantic pain in the ass. Took three hours to get it out. Uh, ran the pumps. Everything ran normally. I'm like, oh, that's weird. So I said, all right, well, what am I, you know, what am I going to do? Uh, I guess I'll just put them back in and try it. Here's here's the problem. That the setup I had before was a, was a was a mammoth nightmare. So out of the fuel selector in the front, I had this weird line that well, basically had two bins in it to get back to the filter which was sitting on top of the pumps and then it would go through the filter and then it would loop back around 180 degrees uh, backwards and then 180 degrees down to get into the pumps themselves so you know a little bit of, of trade going on here and then out through the firewall and then everything's normal uh, that was a nightmare like I said to get out three hours I said I'm, I'm never doing that again so you know what I'm, I'm spinning the coin and here you can see me installing the wing root filter drop-in kit from Aircraft Specialty, the TS Fuel Lines. And it's fantastic. It's actually great because it's got, uh, it's easy to install, right? I mean, yes, you want, the, the, the only thing I had to do a little bit different was, so the, it's basically just a drop-in. It just AN to AN fitting, everything fits fine. Uh, it's a it's a it's a cutoff valve. So there's an A in fitting coming out of the tank, 90 degrees, goes to a cutoff valve. In fact, you know what? Here's a picture of the installation from the bottom. And then you can see the flexible line that goes a 180, and then through the fuel filter, and then into the fuselage. Well, you need to secure that line in a couple of places. So you're going to be <coughs> you're going to be drilling a couple of holes uh, up to a number eight screw size and dimpling and then it's just a Dell clamps for those which you know no big deal but yeah the whole thing really takes no time at all and it's great because there's a cutoff valve which you can use whenever you're servicing the filter you don't have to worry about you know draining the tank it's pretty it's pretty sweet so the first side took about three hours once I was trying to figure out how to exactly mount the Dell clamps to hold it on second one took me about 30 minutes all right let's see what else has been going on well pretty much this uh, so the thing is as soon so as soon as I put these filters on so I had to make one line so so now the fuel system is tanks go to these filters through the fuselage through the valve straight into the pumps firewall whole thing go back into the return lines to the tanks great uh, and yes I do know what it is an extra failure point having uh, two filters but you know what I'm okay with that <clears throat> um, I had I hooked the whole system up and then I retested the pumps and the pumps were fine it was the original pumps and what so the number two wasn't getting to 35 pounds now it was so I think either so I need to crack open that original filter because I think it was either I either had that filter full or there was something about that design with the looping back pipes and everything, or maybe there was a you know a loose valve somewhere. Uh, all I know is is that everything is fine. The original pumps worked perfectly well. So we we are very happy. Uh, yeah, and then soon after this video, um, I I realized that I was going to be down for a couple extra weeks. Um, we're doing a little bit of electric work, which we'll do in the next video. But because of that, we were down for a couple extra weeks. I thought, you know what? Since I've got the new fuel filters and everything is happy, we're just going to proceed with taking off that left tank and fixing that vent leak, which I will tell you all about in the next video because it is hilarious. All right, next video, I'll show you everything about the tank and also some other stuff. So thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.